Once upon a time, a new burger man named Kevin comes to Tokyo village. After crossing many villages, finally he likes to settle down in Tokyo. The villagers here have no idea of what a burger is. Kevin thinks, "Oh wow, there's no burger man in this village. These villagers don't even know what a burger is." Well, that's how people will know how good my burger tastes. My business would also prosper. With this thought in mind, Kevin puts up his burger stall in the middle of the village. Come brother, come buddy. Burger at 15 rupees only. Come on, come all. Taste my delicious burger. Reviol and Rambo are standing there and they are thinking, "Hey Rambo, do you think the burger tastes so delicious?" Well, I have never tasted it in my life. Come, it is a matter of 15 rupees only. Let's try it out. Please come sir. How many burgers should I give? One or two? Let us try with one burger. If it is good, we will have another one. All right, sir. Kevin gives a burger to Rivial. Rivial and Rambo eat the burger and they find that it tastes very good. Both eats burger to their full. They tell the villagers that the taste of burger is very good. Hearing this, the villagers flock into the taste of burger. They all enjoy eating burgers. Kevin's burger business grew and began to prosper day by day. One day, Stephen came to his shop. Stephen was very greedy and lazy also. He hated to do any kind of work. He saw the rush of people in the burger shop and was surprised. Greediness crept into his heart. Hmm, this burger job seems to be very good. The whole village comes to taste his burger. Why not kill him and take over his business? Good idea. I will get everything very easily. And yes, I need not to put any labor also. I will do this. That night, Stephen goes to Kevin's house in disguise. Kevin was asleep, and he kills Kevin with his knife. Then he steals away all the burger-making goods. The next day, he starts to sell burgers in place of Kevin in the shop. Come, come, have some burgers. Enjoy yourself, brothers. Come on, enjoy hot, hot burgers. Hearing this, Rivial goes to the shop. Hey, Stephen, what's this? Started some new business? Where's the old burger man? The old burger man's business was a loss, and so last night he sold it out to me and left this place. From today, I will run this business. Hmm, that's good. Give one burger, please. We see that the burger man came in turns into a ghost. Strange. Where have my burger making stuff gone? He enters his room and sees that his dead body is lying on the bed. Oh my God! This is me, and I have been stabbed. That means I'm dead. Kevin's ghost feel very bad that somebody stabbed him to death while he was sleeping and he had no idea who the culprit was. I will not spare the one who has killed me. I have been cheated. I had no ill feeling of anybody. I swear I will take revenge and teach him a good lesson too. The ghost starts roaming here and there in the village. And there, Stephen puts stale sauce and vegetables in burgers and tries to sell them off. Yes, this is good. Let me use half good vegetables and half bad ones. Anyways, who will come to know? In this way, I will spend less and earn more profits also. Hey, brother Harry, this burger always upsets my stomach. The previous burger man was so good. His burgers were so tasty. I had no problem eating a stomach full of them. You are right, brother. Stephen's burger upsets the stomach. But alas, the tongue never listens to the heart. The burger man's ghost overhears their conversation. Oh, so Stephen is the man behind all this. He swallowed up my burger business also, and now he is selling burgers. Maybe Stephen is the one who has killed me. I will not spare him at any cost. The ghost is very angry and goes away from there. Here, because of the nasty taste of burger, people stop eating it. Stephen's business sees a decline. One day after closing down his shop, Stephen is going home. Kevin's ghost is already present in his house. <laughs> At last, you are back here again. Now, where will you go? Who, who, who are you? Why don't you show yourself? And then the ghost shows himself to Stephen. What wrong did I do with you? Why do you kill me? And now you are feeding on my business? B -b -b Please forgive me. I realize my mistake. Now you will have to pay for this mistake. Saying this, Kevin's ghost enters the body of Stephen and possesses his body. After this, the ghost burger man puts up a free burger board outside his shop. He started making delicious burgers and gave them to people for free. Hmm, I have eaten such a delicious burger after so many days. Wow, it's so delicious. Look, Stephen, today you have made the same tasty burger as made by the previous one. Keep up the good work always. After selling burgers for the entire day, Stephen returns to his house. Then the ghost leaves his body.
Stephen figures out the day's business and finds that he is in a complete loss. The next morning, Kevin's ghost again enters the body of Stephen and distributes free burgers to the villagers. This goes on a few more days. Hey brother, Stephen is making very tasty burger these days and that too he is giving for free. You are right. He was never sparing even a rupee till yesterday. How did he change? There's something fishy. Today, let's follow him and see to ourselves what the matter is. Saying this, the three of them start following Stephen very quietly. Stephen reaches his home. The ghost comes out of his body. <laughs> now it is great fun. <laughs> you have finished all your money, right? For this money, only you have killed me. I will bring this to the notice of all the villagers. <laughs> Please forgive me, Kevin. I, I have killed you. Please forgive me. Reviol, Rambo and Henry overhear all this and they spread the news in the entire village. The next day in front of the village panchayat, Stephen confesses his crime and he is sentenced to jail. Friends, the moral of this story is that if we harm and hurt others, we can never prosper in our life. You idiot! Does it take so long to fetch water? There are clothes to wash, utensils to clean. Who is going to do that? Mm -hmm. I will do it right away, mom. Don't you dare call me mom. You killed your own mother during birth and now you wish to kill me too? Oh, Stacy dear, you got up early. Are you not feeling well? <sighs> yes, mom. I'm just feeling hungry. Give me something to eat. Oh my god. See, my darling is hungry. And this witch has not even cooked food yet. Now are you going to stare at me or will you cook food now? Uh, I will cook right away, mom. Mom, today I wish like eating fish. Oh yes, dear. Today for you we will cook fish. Hey, Anna. Did you hear that? My daughter wants to eat fish today. Go and catch some fresh fish from the river. Hmm? Uh, yes, I'm going. Huh? Today I'm unable to find a single fish. What shall I do? Mom, I miss you a lot. Why did you leave me? Am I so bad? Speak up, Mom! Huh? Oh, my ring! This is my mother's only thing left. Give me back my ring! Huh? What kind of tunnel is this? Is this? Help! Help! My children! There's fire! Fire! Someone save my children! They will die! Help! My children! My little children! They are trapped in fire! Somebody save them! Please save them! Dear, can you save them? Please help me! Don't worry, oh bird. I'll rescue them. Very grateful to you, dear. You may proceed on this road ahead. Ah? Ah? How come? How is the water of this river drying up? Oh, so you are here. That ring is my mother's last thing I have. Give it to me back right now. You catch us and kill us every day. You are very bad. I will not give you the ring back. I'm helpless. I have to do that because my stepmother asked me to do that. Okay. I will give you the ring back. But you will have to do something for that. There lives a witch on that hill. She is drying up the water of this river with her black magic. If this continues, this river will dry up soon and we will be killed. You will have to stop the witch somehow and end this black magic. Okay, I will do that for you. 
but you will have to promise me one thing. If I succeed in stopping that witch, you will give me back my ring. Deal? Yes, of course. I promise you. Hmm, <laughs> once all the water of this river dries up, I will eat the fish out there. Then I will not have to catch fish. <laughs> huh? You should go away from here. This witch is wicked. She has trapped me in this cage. She will catch you too. Go away. Go away. Huh? Run away. I've opened your cage. No, no. I'm afraid to go out. The witch will catch me again. I will stay here itself. Well then, in that case, I will have to save you from the witch. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing here? You should stop your black magic now. This is drying up the river and all the fishes are dying. Please don't do this. <laughs> Interesting. I will eat all the fish out there. I am tired of catching the fish and that is why I am drying up the river. You should not do this. Don't do this. Oh, who are you to stop me? Now I will turn you into a fish and eat you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will bring some spices from the market. Then I will cook you and eat up. <laughs> Listen, parrot, I need your help. If you don't show courage today, then we will not be able to get rid of the switch forever. You are a very brave and good girl. I will help you. Take this. Keep this magic wand with you. With its help you can teach a good lesson to the witch. Who brought you back to original? That he will tell you. You catch people and imprison them. Now we will make you pay for this. Why are you doing this? I only wanted to eat fish. You were getting fish as per your need. But you are greedy and wanted to eat all of them. There is a big difference between greed and need. You are harming others for your greed and benefit. Forgive me, I was blinded by greed. You are right, I should take things as per my need. Forgive me, I will stop my black magic and I will not kill any fish from today. You open my eyes, dear. Thank you so much, Anna. You are really very sweet and good child. You saved us all. Even the nest of that bird and this parrot also. Huh? But how do you know this? <laughs> I know everything. I was just testing you. Now I want you to give something, after which you will never have to catch fish again. So much of gold? Yes, because you deserve this. Because your heart is more valuable than this gold. And here, take your mother's ring. <laughs> Thank you. I will be grateful to you forever. Thank you so much. Oh, what is this? Huh? 
So much gold? Where did you get this? Oh wow! Then we too will also go and bring lots of gold. And till then you must keep food ready. Wow! This is really a very nice place. Now we will take lots of gold from here. Please help me! Save my children! Save my nest! Are you out of your mind? Why should we risk our lives to save your nest? And what if something happens to us? Come on mom, let's go fast. We have come here to get gold. This seems to be the same fish. Come, let's ask for gold. Hey you, fish, were you the one who gave gold to my Anna? Are you her mother? Yes, I am her mother. Now give us that gold too. Yes, I'll give it now. Oh, how did this happen? How did we become frogs? That is because both of you are lazy, slothful and greedy. You are Anna's stepmother. Both of you have treated her very badly. This is a punishment for that. No, no. Please forgive us. We will never treat her badly now. And we don't even need gold. Please make us as before. We will fix our mistakes. Now go and live happily together. This is for your own benefit. Please forgive us, dear. We have hurt you a lot. We are ashamed of our deeds. Please forgive us. Oh, mother. He will never know. Yes, father. Come, dear. I have to tell you something very important. Sure. Tell me, father. I have grown old, tried to civilize him, but I could not improve him. I feel that some lazy ghost has possessed him. Daughter, I give you the responsibility to drive away that lazy ghost. This was Thomas's last wish. Since then, Mia started working on improving David. At first, she thought that if she would help her husband in the fields, then David might also feel like working hard. So she started going to the field with her husband. Early in the morning, both of them would start working together. But David would soon feel lazy and he would sleep in the shadow of a tree. And poor Mia would work all alone. Then Mia started thinking, No, this trick is not working. I will have to find another way. At the same time, an announcement was made in the village. Government is going to distribute free seats tomorrow morning at 9 at the government office. Anyone who wants can come to the office and take free seats. After listening to this, Mia went to her husband. Please go to the government office tomorrow morning. But why? Because the government is giving free seats. Free? Knowing that it's free, David's eyes had a different glue, which Mia noticed. Oh yes, free of cost. Next day, David was standing first in the queue at the government office. David come home with the seeds. Mia! Mia! You brought the seeds? Yes, see, and it's free. Mia started listening to David very carefully and then she got an idea. Next day, Mia came to David. Government has made more announcement. Are they giving free seeds again? No, they will give bulls. What? Bulls? That is good. This will decrease my workload to almost half. Tell me, where do I have to go? But this is not that easy. Why? Government has announced that anyone who grows one ton of grain in the next three months will get the bulls. One ton? What's the big deal? Our field is so big that we can grow five tons of grain. But who will do the hard work? You don't like to work, right? But we will get two bulls. 
and then we don't need to work there after since that day david started working hard in the fields every day he used to plow throughout the day and water the fields after one month the seedlings sprouted and slowly the fields began to sway david continue his hard work after 3 months david started harvesting them after a few days his field had big stalks of grain look mia this must be more than one ton right yes much more now tell me where do i have to go nowhere the buyers will come here themselves next day a merchant came and gave 1 lakh rupees in cash to mia Mia was very happy seeing the money. She went to the market straight away and bought two bulls and came home with the bulls. Listen dear. Wow! Such strong bulls and that too free? Not for free. You have earned them. What? Yes. I like to you. But because of that you worked so hard and grew 3 tons of grains. I got 1 lakh rupees for 3 tons of grain and out of that only I bought two bullocks for 10000. 1 lakh rupees? Yes, and here is remaining 90000. David couldn't believe his eyes. He had never seen so much money before. From the next day David started farming with his bulls. He had turned from a lazy person to a hard working person because he had understood that by working hard he can achieve whatever he wants. Did you see father? I fulfilled your last wish by kicking out the lazy ghost. <laughs>